All right, folks, what is going on? This is episode 554 of the First of Brain Rate Show. I am Via Baller. Over here, we talk about George Southern Atlanta Falcons football. And today, we're going to talk about both of these programs today. We're going to finish off Friday evening with these two programs, one franchise, one program. You know how it is at college and NFL. And why I think they're on the right path. And it is a good time to support these two teams. Um, I haven't talked much about the Eagles uh, too much this offseason. They've been fairly quiet. Spring game is coming up this uh, upcoming April. Definitely going to be there. I want to see these guys in action. And what the Falcons have done is something that nobody really saw coming. They've done a lot of things this offseason to try to build this team to a uh, contender. And yes, I say contender. I believe that they're going to be contenders in this uh, realm, in this upcoming season i firmly believe that and uh this is a really good time to support the teams i know i just did a video the other day well the last upload i did on my youtube channel where i said it was okay if you don't like what the team is doing and i still stand by that but i do have to ask how could you not like what they're doing if this is your first time here welcome i can be found on youtube and rumble i'm also on anchor stitcher spotify apple and google Podcasts. I want to thank you guys for a great week of content. Um, and you guys bring out the best in me. When I see you guys watching or listening to the content, it makes me want to do better content. I keep pushing myself because I want to be the best. And the validation that you guys give by listening and watching, it shows that you're very interested. They want me to put, it makes me want to put my best foot forward. So I want to thank you guys for that. Um, I want to cut straight to the point because I want you to get your weekend started. I know some of you guys already did with this being in the evening, but um, check this out. This is the first time in a long time where the Falcons, not just for a season, but look like for the next five to seven, eight, nine years, that this team could be on the right path of being fiscally responsible and being a contender. They're bringing guys in who wants to fit in this culture and bringing guys in that want to play for this team, and it's starting to show. I know that we don't have all the pieces that we want. I know there are some situations where we feel like we need a particular quarterback and all this other things. I get it, but it's very hard not to see what these guys are doing and say, hey, this is more plus than minus. There's more pros and cons. There's more situations where these guys can get a lot of success out of than the latter where they felt like they backslid. No, this team looks like they're actually trying to do something, and I can't wait to see these guys start playing in preseason. Um, since I'm up here in Atlanta now, I could go to Flowery Branch to see some of the practices. That would be neat. I'm not setting that in stone yet. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but it would be nice to do so and see some of the players and see some of you guys because I know a lot of people who watch this content do go to those type of functions. I, 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 I'm not against it. Maybe if my schedule you know, works out, I may do it. But nevertheless, it's an exciting time to, to go to something like this. I mean, it really is. It's exciting to be a part of something like this because this team has put themselves in a position where they can contend for the NFC. And I, I, I'm going to stand by that. You look at the 49ers, you look at the Eagles, and you may – you know, maybe Green Bay, you know, maybe Seattle, you know, and if you think about it, we've beaten San Francisco one time already. We've beaten Seattle. So, I mean, we know we can contend with a lot of other teams. You know, the Cowboys, eh, okay. The Falcons are in a good position, guys, and I know that, you know, you know, certain players that are not on the team, that really the Falcons never really said that they wanted or not didn't want, it, it kind of discouraged you. But you have to understand that, like I said, they're going to do what they're going to do. It is what it is. They're going to do what they're going to do. And if you're going to support it, it's all good. If not, that's okay too. But this is a good time to support because pretty much 90 I would say about 85 to 90% of what we wanted, they've done. Nobody's talking about pass rush anymore. Yeah, you want to put Jalen Carter there to help. Yeah, you want to get Nolan Smith in to help. But it's not like a super-duper need because we have a lot of guys that are here that are talented 
that could probably get out the, uh, after the quarterback much better than last year. Tobias Campbell just was signed. Evan Kete is in next year. In this next year, um, Kate Nellis is here. Amaya is here. You still got Trey Anderson that can move around all over the place. We have. I didn't even mention Grady Jarrett, Taquan Graham, Ogan DJ. We got some guys who can do certain things. So it's not like we we we're just you know in limbo. So not too many people talking about that. So they move on to the next thing. Desmond Red is not the guy. I don't know if he's the guy. He's not the guy. But I, I've been saying it for a minute. Give the guy a chance. You have a guy that has a lot of weapons. John O. Smith, Kyle Pitts, Drake One, and Mac Hollis, Scotty Miller. You, you uh, I keep thinking about um Cordell Patterson as a running back, but you got to remember he can play wide receiver too. Cor uh, Tyler Algier can run uh run the ball and catch out the backfield. Even though this guy only had four stars, they see some things that he could probably do. Can he do it? I don't know. I like what I saw, but is it sustainable? I don't know. Will he evolve to be one of these top 10, 15 quarterbacks in the league? I, 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 I'm i going to be quite honest. I don't see it right now. But at the same time, if the coaching staff want to give this guy a chance, I look at all the other stuff that they've done as far as coaching-wise, the guys they put on the field, I think pretty much everybody except for, like, say, Jalen Mayfield, Frank Darby, outside of those two, everybody else actually contributed in some form of way to show some positive movement. So it's there. It is not hard to to understand that these guys are actually you know doing something. These guys actually got something together where they can actually you know probably rack up more than seven wins. You know, so I definitely feel like they're on the right path. When it comes to Georgia Southern, because, you know, I'm about the time to go ahead and split the, to the other team. When it comes to Georgia Southern, Georgia Southern has gotten themselves in a position to where they could be very prominent in the Sun Belt. They've done a lot of good things last year as far as beating Nebraska, beating the top 25 team, getting a bowl berth. Should have won that game, but I digress. We reloaded on our staff. We lost some guys. We brought some new guys in. Bought a lot of transfers in, and I'm going to do a video on this one guy that I, this Jalen Barton guy, wide receiver out of Georgia Southern that just that came in. And I know we got it was Anthony Queeley, we got DeAndre Buchanan, we got we got we got a lot of guys at receivers. Don't get me wrong, you know, um, Davis Brin, I think yeah, Dave Brin, he, he has no problem with with getting the ball to somebody. You got too many weapons. But something about Jalen Barton, I want to. Oh, I think I'm gonna do a full episode on him because I think he's gonna be the the guy that probably shines a lot. I could be wrong, but gut feeling this kid could shine big time in this offense. Now I know we got the Durham Burgess of the world. We got a lot of receivers that's going to be making it happen. Between I, like it, it's something about Jalen Barton and, and, and Sam Kennison, and I think that, I think I'm very biased when I say that because I know. Durham Burgess is a beast. There's no doubt about it. We got some other guys that, that can play some ball too. Um, I really think that this team is going to be something special. I, I thought that we was going to go eight and four last year. We should have won eight and four because there's a couple games we should have won, but that's another story for another day. You got this running back group. You got this offensive line that was actually pretty good. You got a defensive line that's going that should do better. And they came on later on in the season and did a little bit better. I would like to see better tackling out of the um out of the defense. But they're on the right path. We went from three and nine to six and seven. Maybe we take six and seven and get those eight wins this year. I think we can do it. Now there's not a lot of information on what's going on at Georgia Southern. I do have a couple of people I can reach out to. I have not because they're still in the preliminary stages of just starting to practice. So it's not much to, to grasp on there. I did hear, you know, earlier, about a month or so ago, that um, Davis Brent is shining. Davis Brent is looking really good. We can see um, a Calvin Tree style or type of uh, play, hopefully with the less interception. But, you know, no knock on him, but he did take some chances. But, um, we're seeing a situation where he could, you know, elevate this offense and throw for four or five thousand yards. And still while running for another eighteen, nineteen hundred yards. 
man, that will be a that would be an awesome type of offense. But I'm going to look more into what George Southern's got going on because I need to put some more content about about this team. These guys has always shown, you know, some grit, some toughness, some blue collar style play. That's just what George Southern's always been about. With Coach Clay Helton at the helm, and he's bringing up more guys in the staff than the ones that we lost. Brought some more guys in, and it looks like that we're going to be right back in the fold. Um, I gotta just need to get some more information, but they're all on the right path. The Falcons are on the right path. Can't say nothing wrong about either one, in my opinion, because they've done a lot of things that is that is productive compared to other years where we've seen them backslide, a both teams backslide a bit and didn't know or just run on a treadmill. It's going to be really exciting to see how this goes. I want you guys to enjoy your weekend. If you like this commentary, the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. Are both teams on the right path? I think so. I mean, it is a, a really good feeling to have where these teams are actually trying to progress instead of regress. Let me know what you guys think. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. Also, on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. Hit that like button. Give me a five-star rating on that podcast avenue. Let people know what we're doing over here. I want you guys to enjoy your weekend. I'm going to be out of town for the next few days. Um, I will be putting up some content, but I definitely won't be here. But I'll give you an update on how things are going. And also got to put a check on that website as well, because I think the website's going to be booming in a little while as well. But we'll check all that at that time. You guys take it easy, and you guys be blessed. Peace. Thank you.